appetising asparagus, lovely lettuces. Greens are good for you, but not if the rabbits are getting there first. This evening, Kai is on veg watch on a new piece of ground. He hopes it'll deliver a few bunnies and woodies for the pot while reducing the number of magpies, crows and squirrels which are running amok. Once he zeroes his air arms TDR, he baits a gate post. Magpies have started taking the eggs from this handy resting place while the landowner goes to check the sheep. Just come to this new permission, uh, the landowner's having problems with magpies taking the chicken eggs. So what we've got, we've got a one blue one here and two brown ones. Seems to notice they don't really take the blue ones. So I'm gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna put these at the fence post where we have done previously and see if the magpies take them. About 20 yards back there, I'll be with my rifle, my Air Arms S410 TDR. Leave it open like that. Entice them in. They may want an omelette. Kai uses the old Massey to conceal himself. But soon heads off so as not to waste the light. A steep field seems to hold a few rabbits. The long grass doesn't help us. In a branch. Just creep along the side. Literally about 15 yards in front of me this. This rabbit looked at me. I, th I thought it was a given. I got it, pull the trigger, but just across his face is a twig, and I see it go ding. There are more further up the field, so he starts to stalk them. We let him go. On he goes, working his way towards his prize rabbit. Using the lay of the land, he finally has the chance to take the shot. It's a clean headshot, and he's clearly relieved. However, the edge is taken off his achievement somewhat when he retrieves his quarry. Spent about half hour stalking this one rabbit. Bring it back, you can't even see. What a shame, but what a stalk. <laughs> I literally thought, Davey's gonna love this. This is great footage, this is awesome. I got up to it and I looked at it and I thought, it doesn't look right. You can see the kind of the rough grass there. When it crept up behind it, I can see it's still standing there. So I just went to the to the right of it, lifted myself up, and then hit it in the head behind the ear. Yeah, and I thought that was that was great. That was text that was textbook stuff. Let's go and pick this bad boy up. <laughs> pick it up. And they can't even see. Probably can't even hear me. I could have just walked up to him, picked it up. Probably didn't even need to do all of that. Oh well, it's done now. Put him out of his misery. Kai has been shooting air arms rifles for years and is enjoying the neat compact S410 TDR takedown rifle. Um, all it does is you just screw it, screw it apart, and it comes down to the back of the pistol grip. It's, it affects nothing to do with the mechanics of, of, of the rifle itself. So, literally, all it is is just the, the back piece. So you can take that off within seconds, as I'm doing now, just unscrewing it, and it pops out. Within seconds, it's back in its case. And it's extremely, extremely light. And it, it's, just, it's just great, really. So I'm gonna screw it back together. And as you can see, as I said, like literally seconds, it's back in one piece. And it's, you know, it's sturdy. It's got long pins in it, so it doesn't bend or anything. It, that, it, as a solid, that's a solid piece. And it's also, you can, you can, you can adjust this to your needs, but, it fits me perfectly and it's so, so comfortable. And it's just a pleasure to have, really, a pleasure to hold. You take some real accurate, steady shots with it. Kai shoots all sorts of rifles to fill the freezer with game meat for his wild food catering company, but there's nothing better than the simple pleasure of trying to outwit your quarry. Heading back with our prize, Kai suspects the eggs will have gone. They have. Again, the blue one is untouched. Oh well, the tally for the evening is one mixy rabbit for two brown eggs. Not a resounding success, but first impressions suggest there might be some sport to be had here.